Her office in Beijing's business district is small, but the mission is big. Su Chang Harris Simpson's day job is to offer consulting and event services to corporate clients. But her ultimate goal is to get more women into leadership roles in China. Well, right now it's still really a man's world. If you think about it, there's more executives, um, executives than women. And so for that, we need men's support and help to mentor and sponsor more women into executive level positions. Right now, I believe it's not equally. Our time and service is not valued equally. And that shows in pay, the lower pay, and contracts we get and so forth. So I think by having us be valued at that same level would be very, very helpful. China has one of the highest female employment rates in the world at 73 percent, ahead of many developed countries, and a strong and long-standing official policy on gender parity. But according to Bain and Company, women hold fewer than 10 percent of the executive level jobs in China and have only a 1 in 15 chance of reaching the chief executive suite. A leadership coach who has been living in China for 20 years and has seen the development of women in Chinese society over the past two decades says hiring more women for C-level roles would also boost corporate earnings. Research is showing that the companies who really have gender diversity, particularly in the high level, at the executive level, board director level, um, are outperforming the companies that don't by as much as 50 percent. One woman who has made it to the top of China's corporate world is Zhang Xin. You know, China is an incredible place for women. Uh, if you look at the private sector, uh, there's such a great atmosphere and great opportunity for entrepreneurs. We have gone through the cultural evolution when, uh, you know, when we were taught from young age that women can raise half the sky. Nevertheless, women still face a great wall of discrimination in China. Global auditing and consulting firm Deloitte says the top three industries with the highest percentage of women are life sciences and healthcare at just 18 percent, financial services at only 10 percent and consumer business at 9 percent. Men and women alike are flocking to the hair salon Catherine de France to get a hair makeover for the spring season. It's a place where different cultures, professions and genders are coming together. Actually in the salon we have, a, it's a woman's salon, huh? we have 12 women and 3 men. Yeah. <laughs> in the administration, the accounting, the Everything is women. They are um, ready to, to, to fight a little bit more. And so that's why they are more um, serious and responsible. Whether foreigner or Chinese, businesswoman or cleaning lady, it is clear that changes, deep cutting like the scissors at this hair salon, need to happen in society in order to decrease the gender gap and boost female empowerment. Martina Fox, CCTV News, Beijing.